Again, we're considering the reaction. C2H2 plus 2H2 goes to ethane. C2H6. And in this part C, we have 20 kilomoles of acetylene, 50 kilomoles of hydrogen, and 50 kilomoles of ethane are charged into a batch reactor. So it's a single charge. And suppose that after some time, 30 kilomoles of hydrogen has reacted. The questions are, how much of each species, so how much of each species is present in the reactor at that moment? And what is the fractional conversion of acetylene and of hydrogen? Our solution, we start by thinking about, do we need to find a limiting reactant? And the answer is no, because we're told how much of one of our reactants has reacted. So let's write that C is the extent of our reaction here, like we do. Let's write up our relationships. We have one C, another C, our arrow, and our third C. Our coefficients are 1, 2, and 1. And we're told that 30 kilomoles of hydrogen, which is the 2C here, has reacted. So we have H2 is 2C equal to 30 kilomoles, which implies that C is equal to 30 divided by 2 kilomoles, which would be 15 kilomoles. And from that, we can see that 1C, that would be C2H2, and this is consumed would be 1C equal to 15 kilomoles, and that's consumed also because it's on the left of the equation. And then the last one is we have ethane, C2H6, is 1C equal to 15 kilomoles, and that is produced. So now we can write up our flow chart. We have a simple one-step reaction, and what's going in is C2H2, how much? 20 kilomoles. What else goes in? H2 at 50 kilomoles. And C2H6 at 50 kilomoles. We have the same things coming out. C2H2, H2, and C2H6. C2H2 is 20 minus, because it's being consumed, 1C. H2 is 50 minus 2C, and it had better be 30. And this is being produced, so we have 50 plus 1C. So if we calculate these by what we have, we get 20 minus 15, means that 5 is left. Here we have 50 minus 30, which means 20 kilomole is left. And here we have 50 plus 15 equals 65 kilomole. So the answer to how much of each species is present in the reactor at that moment is this part right here. Okay. Now, the fractional conversion of acetylene and hydrogen. That conversion is always consumed over fed. So fractional conversion of C2H2 is consumed 15 kilomoles over fed, 20. 
they're all QMO, so they cancel. That is 0 0.75 or 75%. And the fractional conversion of H2 is what was consumed is 30 over what was fed is 50. So that's 3 fifths or 0 0.6. So this is the answer to the second part of the question.